All right, what's up guys? Just walking in downtown Portland right now. Feels nice to say that, it's been a while. I'm just on my way to Macus actually. I got here on Thursday and I didn't vlog yesterday because I was just kind of hanging out with my friends um, from university and from my soccer team. So nothing too crazy that we did. We just kind of went out and had a good time. But today I'm downtown and uh, going to check out Macus's new location. Um, so I want to kind of take you guys and show you the new spot and uh, it'll be nice to say hi to those guys. Um, obviously I haven't seen them in a long time either so I'm stoked to check out like what the store has and uh, what brands they carry now but it's the afternoon now so it's getting really sunny again so that's nice and uh, the weather's coming out and then later tonight I'm gonna meet up with a couple of my buddies again and then we're gonna go to the Timbers game so they're playing against San Jose tonight so uh, my boy is actually from her one of my boys I guess is from that area so it'd be nice to, to see them I think we're sitting in the away section so it might get kind of rowdy just heading up to Macus and uh, I'll see you guys there So you can see pretty much right away that it's way bigger than the last location and just the, the displays that they have are really nice. So it's, uh, it's good to see that the uh, store is doing really well after all these years. Tons of different colors of the private label. This is their sale section, always packed as usual. Macus does a really good job at keeping their sales nice and updated. So lots of stuff here for you guys if you want to check it out. I love the private label tees, they fit so nice. And this is another color I haven't really seen before. It's kind of like a washed black. And then so this is a long sleeve and like that same washed black color. This one doesn't really have any distressing on it like the other one does. You guys can see on the color. But yeah, still really nice. And then this is obviously a lot louder. This is a like yellow heavyweight hoodie. It's kind of a nice like summer or spring vibe though. I kind of like it. All right, so the new Macus location is just right on the corner over there. You guys can see the flag for um, their logo. But yeah, beautiful location. And uh, yeah, I just got to see Justin before going out. So super nice guy, great store. And uh, yeah, you guys should definitely check it out anytime you're in Portland. Obviously super windy and it's like kind of cold. Yeah, it looks nice, sunny. There's the rock! Check that out. Yeah. That's like, you see that all the time in people's pictures whenever they come here. All right, what's good guys? So in this box right here, I have the brand new Mercurial Vapor 15s as you guys can see right here And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the pitch right now since this is one of my first weekends off in a long time And I'm gonna try these out with you guys and just show you how they look how they feel and I just give you guys my first overall impressions So I'm gonna get ready now, and I'll see you guys at the pitch all right, just got here to the pitch. As you can see, it's a super beautiful day, which is awesome. So I'm here to test out these boots right here, the new Mercurial Vapor 15s. And uh, yeah, just gonna have a light kick around because uh, as I said, this is my like first weekend off in a while. And uh, I have a game on Tuesday. It's our last league game of the season. So I don't want to go too heavy. Just kind of kick the ball around, maybe take some free kicks and uh, just see how these things work. So they look beautiful and time to see how these things actually play. So these are supposed to have Nike's Air Zoom technology, I think. So something that they haven't put on the Mercurials in a while so we'll see if the new technology does anything to the performance but just from slipping them on they feel really nice these actually feel really comfortable I can't really remember what my last pair felt like when I first got them so I don't know if they feel better than the previous ones but um, right out of the box these ones feel pretty good I noticed that there's a little bit of extra like um, heel cushioning on these ones so that's nice. I always hate wearing new white boots on turf because I know that I'm gonna get them scuffed up, but can't really do anything when you play in Vancouver and that's basically all we got, but at least we got Swan Guard. Straight out of the box, these things fit really nice. I'm a 10 and a half and I did a 10 and a half in these, so it feels like these kind of fit similar to previous models, but I don't know, these feel really light too, lighter than the other pair that I've had before. Yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. You think these look good? I think they look really nice. Let's go test them out.
good during the warm-up actually so I'm really happy about that feel a little bit of stud pressure just because the boots are still a little bit stiff um, which is natural but other than that they feel great so let's get to training Let's do some shooting and test these things. So yeah, just off the first test, these things feel really good. Striking feels nice and clean. And uh, yeah, I think uh, first impressions are good. All right, what's up guys? So we're back here with Evan down at the gym. Um, today is gonna be a little bit lighter. We're just gonna do a recovery session because I had a game last night, so I'm absolutely shattered. I think that this is actually something that is really slept on or underrated when people go to the gym. I think especially for guys like around our age, people just get right into their workouts. They don't really focus on their recovery or their activation. So hopefully you guys can look at some of the exercises that we do today and uh, just incorporate them into your own workouts and put Evan's social media up like always. So if you guys have any questions about it, Feel free to reach him and uh, yeah, just ask him. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to getting recovered, so let's get going. Just working on some ankle mobility here. Uh, adds a little more resistance, a bigger stretch to put a kettlebell or a dumbbell on top of the knee. You're just driving forward until your heel starts to lift off the ground. Active recovery is still good here. Just working on some plyometrics. Nothing too strenuous. World's greatest stretch. What was this called? The world's greatest? <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Yeah. One of my uh, captains in university would call this. Oh, yeah. I can't remember if it was world's greatest or it was like, uh, <laughs> like something about the eagle. I can't yeah. remember. Good. Try to squeeze your core there and just stay still. Good. Nice. Just taking it easy here, 300 meters. Cool. Nice. And let's bring it a little bit across the body now. Gonna feel a little bit more on the outside. Oh yeah, wow. On the leg as well, on the peroneals. Mm -hmm. 